So in this word problem, we're going to have a little bit of an inequality situation. And when we were looking at some of those absolute value problems in the last section, we talked about how you'd have x minus some number um, is equal to another number. And I was talking about how this entire difference is usually that distance. So this is like the range part that we get, like how far to the left should it be, how far to the right. And then we can think of this as being like the average. So if I take away the uh, average, then the left value of x can give me the lower range, and then like the right value of x can give me the higher range. So I, I can get a distance in between a couple numbers um, and figure out what the total range would be. So the pH is a measure of the acidity of a solution. The pH of a healthy human stomach is about 2.5 and is within 0.5 pH of this value. So if I think of 2.5, that sounds to me like that is the average. And is within 0.5 pH of this value. To me, this sounds like it is the left and right difference. So I'm going to set this up so that I can find the range of the pH levels of a healthy human stomach. Absolute value brackets, x, minus 2.5 is somehow compared to 0 0.5. Well, we don't want that to be larger than that because that would put me beyond that 0.5 pH range. But what we would like is to have this value be less than, and I think equal to is okay here too. And then we'll just go ahead and solve this. Here's the positive, here's the negative, and I'm not going to talk through this. You can do this and keep up with me. So three would probably be the upper boundary of that range. Now in the negative case, let's talk about what that should look like. Sneak a negative symbol out front, x minus 2.5, is less than or equal to 0.5. And here's where if I want to multiply by negative, I have to change the direction of my inequality. And then when I go through, add this 2.5 to each side, and I'll get x is greater than or equal to 2. Now I have to summarize this. And if I look at this, well, I could see this changing order in my head, and I'd be like, well, 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. And i do a quick little check of that to make sure that that works out okay. And so that would be the pH with a lowercase and then a capital P. Make this one an OYO problem, and I will put the answer up when this is about 5 seconds from now. Now, if this one seems simple to you, great. If it also seemed weird to you, I could totally see why. So with this OEO problem, I went ahead and I tagged the 0 degrees Celsius as being the average. And then here I have MID, PT, which means midpoint. And then I also put the words above, below, meaning like that 2 degrees is either above or below 0. So right off the bat, you might be like, well, it's got to be negative 2 to 2. So in the last problem and in this one, it's like we probably could avoid solving these with absolute values, but it's a good thing to uh, get some of that practice in. Well, the first thing I did was I thought, well, this would be zero. And maybe that is what threw some of you off. But then I just simplify it in this step before moving on to the positive and negatives. And then once I do the positive and negatives, I just have to make sure I, you know, jump right in there. But then here I have to change the direction of the inequality and then put together the final result as negative 2 to 2 for my range. And that ended up agreeing with what we probably could have just figured out without doing absolute values. Here's the assignment that goes with this. Good luck with it.